Hello and welcome to Meet Fox. My name is Suzanne and I'm going to show you today how to use our product Meet Fox in a quick 10 minute demo. Um, when you sign up on Meet Fox, the first thing you will find is your dashboard and you will see a few steps on how to get started. This will help you uh, guide yourself through the process, but as you have me today, I'm going to show you how to get started. So first things first, I would click on my services and uh, this is where you can define your offering. You can add as many meeting types as you want by clicking on that plus and you can always select a color or you can just leave it blue or white as you wish. Then you just add a description and you can say how long those meetings are. So you define a duration. Um, one important thing that we've recently added is the display starting times. Um, so depending on your duration, we can show either a flexible starting times. Um, so if somebody books an appointment at eight o'clock, the next person can book an appointment at 8.30 if that was a 30 minute session. But if you want to always start meetings on a full hour, you just define this here by saying every 60 minutes you want to have starting times. And um, then you can define if you want to meet in person or via video or both. This is what you can select here. And um, you can define your price. So you can say, uh, you can use our tool to get paid for your services by simply putting in a price here. And if you enter a price right here, your customers will be asked to put in the payment details during the booking. But we'll come to that a little later. Um, let me put a price in here. One last thing, you can here select a questionnaire. Right now we have not defined a questionnaire yet, but I will show you in a second how that works. Once this questionnaire is defined, you can select it here and this will be asked then at the booking. Let's click here on questionnaires and this is where you find exactly what I was just talking about. So you can define as many questionnaires as you want. You can call them questionnaire one, for example, and then ask as many questions as you like. If once this is done, you can then select them in your services again. And that's how easy it is. Uh, those responses to those questions um, will be sent to you in the email, in the appointment confirmation email or appointment request email, depending how you set it. And this guides us to the next point that I want to show you is this automatically accepting of all meeting requests. I've enabled this, which means that whenever there's a booking request coming into my calendar, I'm immediately automatically accepting it. So I'm not um, obliged to accept or deny uh, an appointment request. If I disable this, I will always be asked to accept or deny that request, depending on, for example, the questions that I've asked. Uh, one other thing is we also have the possibility to add breaks before and after meetings um, that will help you add some preparation time if needed. And lastly, there's this field here, additional message. This message is sent to your customer in the email in the appointment confirmations and in the appointment reminders. And that is exactly where you can put in any kind of additional information. So you can add any links or other um, important details that your client need to know before the appointment. Let's save this real quick and let's go to the next step. The next step would be uh, the calendar. Um, as you probably know, we do offer a Google Calendar and Microsoft Outlook Calendar integration. That means that you only have to click here once and connect your calendar with, um, with our tool. Once this is done, all appointments that are booked via Meetfox will be immediately pushed to your personal calendar. And what is more is that whenever you have any appointments in your own calendar, these will be of course blocked for us. So that means that we will never be able to show your clients available time slots during times where you are actually not available based on your personal calendar. And that is a very handy tool. So I would really recommend um, using that synchronization. In case you don't use Google Calendar, or Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Outlook Calendar, don't worry, you can still use our tool. What you have to do then is just use our own calendar that we've integrated. 
you can for example in here see all your appointments you can also add appointments and you can even block off weeks or days for example if you go on vacation you just put it in once and um, then these times will not be shown as available to your clients anymore and that is um, why this is really important you don't need to do this uh, if you have your own google calendar and if you've blocked off times there that is also completely fine let's go to the next step which is availabilities and this is exactly where you can define your regular working hours when you want to show your customers time slots. Um, you can either say you want to always be available from Monday to Friday from 10 to 5, or you can also add some um, lunch breaks. Uh, for example, you can say I'm available on Friday from 9 till 12, so lunchtime, and then again in the afternoon, say from 1. 12, 8. Um, maybe I don't want to work on, on the weekends this time, so I'm just going to post this like this. And so I've set my working hours, and um, with this combination of these working hours and your personal Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar synchronization, we can ensure that we will always show your customers the right times. Lastly, you can also add a booking window. That means that you can uh, say how far in advance your clients can book appointments with you. We will, in uh, two to three weeks, add another function that um, will allow you to also block the times before, uh, how that, that you can't get any last minute bookings. So you can select, for example, that you don't want bookings one day in advance. So we will also have that uh, in place shortly. And then the final step are the payments. Most of you probably want to make money with your meetings and this is possible with MeetFox because we're not just a regular scheduling tool, we offer so much more. Uh, you can select if you want your clients to pay you via credit card or if they should pay you later. Paying later means that we are issuing an invoice with some payment instructions that you can define and then right after each meeting they will receive an invoice and you have to deal with it yourself basically or your client has to transfer you the money somehow. Uh, if, we, if you select clients can pay by credit card, the wonderful thing about that is that we can definitely secure your payments. How it works is that during the booking your clients have to put in their, pay, their credit card details and we make a pre-authorization of the credit card. This allows us to ensure secure payments as right after each meeting we can deduct that money from your client's bank account we don't have to though so that gives you the beautiful flexibility to adjust the price right after the meeting and we do ask you in a pop-up to confirm the final price and you can always adjust it downwards but we will come to that a little later again uh, you can also set up your cancellation policies and depending on the cancellation policies, we can even deduct the money from your client's bank account in case of no-shows or in case of late cancellations, as long as those are represented here in your cancellation policies. And lastly, in case you're interested, you can always add some integrations onto your own website. We highly recommend doing that um, because we need to make sure, or you need to make sure that you get a lot of bookings for your own channels. So the more uh, you put our MeetFox uh, booking link or booking page onto your own channels, the more bookings you will get. And here are some instructions, but you can read for them later. And we are also always happy to help you with any integrations. Just talk to us and we can do it for you. And I'm sure a lot of you will buy some sub accounts. This is very easy. You just go to sub accounts, you put in your voucher, and once you apply the voucher, you will see a few more accounts here. You can add your your employees, your clients, whoever you want to use Meetfox as well. And once I put in my colleague's email address, she will now now get an email with an invite, and she will be able to use Meetfox the exact same way that I use it, just that she doesn't have an admin function, but she can use scheduling, video calling, payment, all the functions that we have. And now you're all set and you can go to your booking link. 
This is a link that you can share with your customers or you can also embed it in your own website. This is what your customers will be able to find and they can choose between an online meeting or a face-to-face -face meeting. Let's choose online meeting, then they can choose the service that you want to offer and they can choose the date, let's choose today and the time. And then all they have to do is put in their name. I'll just put my colleague's name in here right now and leave a comment if they wish. And this comment will be sent to you in the appointment request email. And once it's confirmed, this is what I, what I see in my dashboard. So and now in my dashboard, I can see that under my upcoming meetings, this is the next appointment that I have. I can also message my client right beforehand. I see that Joseph already messaged, messaged me, so I'll message him back. I can uh, add any kind of files, any documents that I want to share with my uh, client up front. And this chat window will always stay there. So also during the video call, it's always there. And after the video call, it's always safe. So you can always see all your documents right here. And now let's start the video call. It's simply by clicking here, saying join with video. And this is it. So you can see Joseph right here. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Josie. And uh, the beautiful thing about this video tool is that you really don't have to download anything. It just opens up in your browser. You can see full screen. You can also share your own screen just by clicking this here. Here, I'll show that real quick. And now Joseph can see my own phone screen. I can also stop that screen sharing cool. again. Switch on the video, video. And I can also record the session by clicking here. When doing that, Joseph immediately gets a notification and he can um, see that I'm recording the session and we are both able to download the recording right after the session. I'll show you right now how that works. So let's finish this call. Bye, Joseph. Bye, Joseph. And as you can see here, the call is about to be completed, uh, has been completed and the recording is right here. And I could just I can just click on it and see it, or I can just close it, and I will always be able to also see it right here. So these are my recordings. I can click on it. They will always be um, there for 72 hours after each call. And by clicking on it, you will be able to see the call right here. When doing that, immediately gets a notification, and he can. Um, so that was that, and now. If you now click on the past appointments, you will be able to see all the appointments and you can also see the point, the invoices that you've issued. You can see all the recordings and you can also see if you, for example, want to charge a client for an appointment. If you've entered a price for this appointment, you can then by clicking here, click on charge, you can enter your fee. You can always adjust it downwards, so you can always say you don't want to um, charge anything. You can charge a little bit, or you can charge the full dollar. And the moment this is submitted, an invoice is created on your behalf and sent to your client. And you, of course, get another uh, an email as well with that invoice into your, bank, uh, into your email box. And once that payment is done, it goes right into your bank account, so there's really nothing you have to do within four working days. It's on your bank account and it's deducted from your client's credit card. If you have any more questions, please let us know anytime we're here. Um, you will always find on the left lower side, you will always find a chat box where you can talk to us and we are here 24-7 to help you uh, solve any issues and help you use our tool properly. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you're enjoying our talk. Bye.